Hey guys, it's Ben from B210 and Ben, and today, hopefully, we're gonna get my beast running again. Let's have a look at what's going on. Um, okay. Alright, so we've scored this locally off a young, off a Bray actually, his name is. He's got a Bluebird wagon with a L20B turbo he's building at the moment. He had no need for this. It's a single 45 Italian made, unlike my new ones, which are Spanish made. Rather than fix that manifold, we're just gonna throw this on. It cost me less than what a new manifold would have cost. This is gonna do for the meantime till we buy a new manifold. Stick him on and see what happens. Ah, uh, so I wouldn't normally do this, but we're gonna use the copper gasket shit because I'm just so sick of blowing manifold gaskets at the moment and I don't want to have to do this a hundred times more. So, um, start with that. Alright, uh, next up. I'm gonna replace the bolts that mushroomed out on the head with studs. Then at a later date I can dev con them in and, and, and it'll save me a bit of fucking around. Turn the camera on, but like, um, I've just started screwing the first two bolts on. Here's the next two bolts going in now. Lady just run over me tools. Look, look at the rest of her car. Doesn't doesn't surprise me. Oh. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, you're right. I, I didn't know what was going on. I just heard a big car. She's all bolted in. I guess all we gotta do now is hook the battery up. I hope the battery's got enough charge to start it. Let's see what happens. All right, so yeah, the battery's, oh, well, it's flat again. Got the roller, can jump start in, and then we'll see what happens. I'm hoping once it pumps the petrol up, it just goes <laughs> pretty good. Needs a throttle return spring put on it and then the exhaust is leaking at the flange. Tighten all that up. Laughing hopefully. Oh. Alright, the exhaust is hooked back up. Um, I'm pretty sure everything is ready to go now. We kick her in the guts again. See what happens. Alright, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Fuck you, yeah, mate. That's fucking sweet as bro. Alright, it's fucking going awesome. I can already tell just from revving it up that it's heaps, heaps more responsive down the bottom. There's no more looking slight hesitation. Just whap, whap, whap. Maybe single 45 is the way to go until I do some, um, some major head work. Get this head flowing better for the, for the twins. For now, she's running. Uh, try get some driving footage on the way home. Give you a bit of an update on how she drives and if I made it home and all that. When I get there, I'll talk to you then. All right, guys, so um, we're back at home. Didn't quite all go to plan from there. Uh, we took it for a lap around the block. When we come back, it was uh, pouring petrol out the front of the carby. So we opened it up, had a look, played with the needle and seat and the float a bit. Oh, it all looked good. It did help a little bit. It still seems to be over fueling, flooding out one side of that carby. So um, it's only something simple. We're going to have to just pull the carby apart and clean it all out and everything. And she should be smick. Um, for the moment, I could have drove the car home, but um, I had to bring the Corolla home as well. And uh, I, I only have um, one set of hands. And So the Datsun stayed there. We'll go back. Or oh, probably end of this week, weekend somewhere and uh, try and get a running and driving properly and get a home. And then we'll get some driving footage and then we'll talk about the difference between the single Weber and the twin Webers and if there's any noticeable difference, which I can already tell you there is. So, but anyway, I'll leave that for another one. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Sorry if this one dragged out and was a bit boring. Um, I'm gonna try to throw some mad music in and stuff, and yeah, you'll love it, I hope. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll catch you next time.